guys welcome to the channel uh, today we're going to make a clone of the post schema so post schema what we mean by post schema is whenever someone posts uh, an image or a video or a group of images it goes to the database in a model so what we mean by that uh, in rdbms it's called tables like there are tables of different uh, different database which is can contain maybe posts tables and but in um in no sql database um to be to be exact uh, mongodb we have schemas so schemas are when you're using mongoos uh, schemas are just like rdbms it's just taking the idea of rdbms to arrange all the models and data in a schema so that it will follow a certain pattern so in uh, no sql we're going to use mongoose which is a library for mongodb for schema to make sure you have a uh, like synchronized data across every model of the collection so first of all we're going to in, in on my screen now you can see we we're going to import which is require mongoose and then we're going to create a variable called schema to put uh, the schema the schema from the mongoose um, object and then first of all we're going to create first one we're going to take the rdbms approach here which is making our data not nesting our data which is a very very bad practice when you nest your data although it is it is scalable in um i think it's scalable in um mongodb or no sql databases but it's not the right thing to do because later on you have performance issues and query issues which you wouldn't wouldn't like to have so first of all we're going to make sure we make our data very very uh very very um good for us to query so first of all we're going to first create a post schema the post schema first will have um a field of user id user id what user id basically means is the owner of the post so when you post your user id will be posted there which will come from the user schema so today we're not covering the user schema but you get what i'm saying so is user id is a unique id given to only you so it's just like a name a name or a, it's just like a fingerprint which is not uh duplicated it can never be duplicated so secondly is the location so in every post uh, there are location and some don't they don't have location so it can return null and if it returns null here it will show there that there is no location obviously so uh caption caption is based on uh the post so caption is the text you put under the post whenever you want to post there is a field for you to put a caption so caption is based on a the post then we have uri uri for me i wanted to name them uh, posts or images right um so let's say in posts now in instagram before it was only one picture per post but now you can post several pictures so what we i did here is to put an object into an array an object containing uri which is the the um, link to the image or the uh, to the video then type type is whether if it's a photo or is a uh, a picture then tags tags are basically when you tag someone on instagram you click on you want to tag someone you click on it you tag people so here will contain all the user id so what i have to do here is this uh i think i have to take here and uh put it in here so i have to put so i have to put um i have to put a uh, user id so when you tag people you tag people you put in their user ids there so it will put all the user ids there then uh so this is the post so in every in every picture i think there is a tag which is i think in instagram in every picture has its specific tags so that's why i'm putting the tags inside the object of the post then timestamps you need timestamps for everything because date created date modified because on instagram now there is edited so we made uh we made time stops there is is a uh, it's just uh it's an inbuilt uh feature in mongo mongoose so it creates time by itself and when you edit it's uh updated 
so uh secondly we're going to create the light schema so the light schema is going to be is going to be of two types so on instagram if you know you can like a post and you can like a comment right so liking a post so if we wanted to be all um we want to make it more simpler and more straightforward we'll make two two different uh, schemas which is uh post likes and uh, comment likes but uh, that would be too much so what i did here is this so in the um, light schema we have fields of user id which is uh, connecting to the object id if you don't know what object id is is from mongoose it's uh, id generated by mongodb it's a generated id by mongodb i think every no sql has this uh then the post id the post id is the the id to the post the post that owns it so this user id and post id will always be there no matter whether is uh, if if it's for a comment uh, for a like of a comment or it it doesn't matter it's going to still be there but for comment id if it's for only a post if the like is for a post it doesn't the the, the comment id will be null but if it is for a comment there will be a comment id there so we we're just killing uh two beds with one stone here so um so this is done then the comment schema so in every post there are comments and you can comment under a comment so even here we could try and try and make it very easier but that would be too much that would be what if we want to support comment under comment under comment although instagram doesn't have that is i think two layers of comment which um which is very easy but still if we want to increase it's going to be a good way for us to scale to change features to add features which will be convenient for us so first of all i have a user id just like the light schema and the post id and the post uh, these two things will always be there irrespective of whether it's a comment or a post they will always be there then comment then comment id uh comment id will be uh, comment id will be the id of a comment when if this comment is under a comment so you will get the comment id of the uh, the comment you want to reply and you hit uh, you populate it here so whenever we're querying for uh, all the comments under a comment we just current uh, query with the comment id then obviously the text as the text of the um, of the what do you call it of the comment so when you text so here now we can see this is how we're going to if we wanted to make it more more uh more is it more cumbersome it will be too much so this is i think for me i think this is the minimalized version of the instagram post schema in no sql so if you like this video, you can just give it a like. And if you don't like it, just tell me down in the comment below what you don't like about it and what you think I need to improve. But um, I think that will be all for today. Uh, see you next week.